Hi and welcome with the part 10 of ASP.NET Core of the Flutter. So what we have done in the last video, we have enhanced our uh, student UI. Uh, let me show you. So what we have built, we have built the forum to be first name and last name. And we'll have the uh, drop down list to choose the value. Uh, so today I, well, I'm not doing uh, much too much things here today. I will just add uh, small things, or I will add just buttons, two buttons under this one. One let's suppose one save, one delete. If you press on save, it will go post the data, and delete will delete the data. Uh, I will do that. If I have time, I will back to the main uh, UI to the list. So we'll do. If you press on any name on the list, it will open this uh, forum with filling this uh, automatically it will uh, fetch the data from the first forum or th from the list so here uh, in this widget here uh, we'll add two uh, raised buttons so first one as you said as we said to you uh, we'll add raised button for saving the, uh, the data uh, so let's do first things by editing for this raised button. Let's add from all the sides, not only. Let's use all. So around it will be 8.0. Okay. And the text color, we can choose colors dot blue. Okay, let's choose this one. So when I uh, press on this button, the action will, will happen there. We'll leave this action. It will be save. So when you press on this one, it will be the save action. So I'll leave it now. I will put the child to write the text. This text will be save. That's it. It's very simple. So let me save it and show you what's happening here. So it's showing me uh the saving button it's very normal but if i want to add one more button here let's copy this one okay i want to say like this so i'll call this one delete so let's save it back to our emulator so yeah one in the top and one in the bottom. Uh, so if you want to put them in one row, what we can do here? Easy, we add row. So this row will be here on the top of this one. We'll say we need row. Okay. Uh, why from the beginning start with the... Uh, so the row, they have many options. Uh, what's mean these options? Uh, so the row can be two button they will fill the forum or they will be far from each other or will be close to each other so we can change it from main x alignments here we can say again main like alignment dot if you see here center i will leave it center after that show you what's meant this exactly uh, after that i will add the children so the because it will have more than one uh, one children in this one so it will be array inside it widget for array of widget so i will copy this one or the two buttons here be careful when you are copying x uh, put them inside it like this okay just to be main to here main mix alignment okay let's save it let's back there so now wait i see both the uh, buttons in the center so if i change this one to uh, that space around back there I think this, they look better after that you can change the color and can change whatever we want here so now here I will stop in this for in this forum I can't do anything more what I will do I will back to the main forum to the list so when I, as I told you when if I press on one of the names it will open for me this forum let's go and change the main forum Let's back there. So you remember here before we add the 
this one I don't need this one anymore now here uh, what we call the main one let's back to the student this one we call it uh, think student let's back there where is it here copy this one save it yeah so now in, we are in the main one and it's empty if I open uh, postman sorry postman so I will insert now values and we'll see what will happen there so just let me open postman so this is postman so what I need to do here if I say get I have nothing to show me same the emulator I don't have anything so I need to say post I have already my data I will just insert it many times here if you go down send again one more two or three times maybe a bag to get tell me if there is any value that's great so now let's back to our yeah it's great so it's we have the values now exactly same what we have there uh, let me open postman maybe change to let's put values to see what's happening in my emulator uh, save so it's straight away it's coming here that's great so it's sync it automatically okay great so we are now on the student uh, class so what I need to do here as I told you if I press on one of any one of these names it should open for me the student forum and show me the details of that student so how we'll do that I have the build the student uh, list so in inside that student list I have card that card we have option we call it on tab we left it null before so now I need to write uh, new uh, new what new function to navigate me to the new uh, to the uh, add student and show me the details of that student so I will call it nav navigate to student and what I want to send from from this one I need the student I click on so it will be this dot student from the student list students not from student only so I will take the index the current student so uh, I don't have this one now I need to write the student uh, because I will use it more than one time I because of that I make it uh, a function here or method so let me just see what's happening here again always missing uh, so just miss it uh, come on so let me just go write that one now I need to write it inside this one here so let's say so I have it yeah so this one uh, so when I tap on that one I will leave it void because no need to return anything so I'm receiving a student student it will be a sync uh, I wait after that I need to use navigate Navigator. So I'll use navigator dot push. So I need to open new one. So inside the push, I leave the context. After that, the root will be my material. So I will use material page root material. That's one. We'll use builder. I use the context to save same context. Yeah. So uh, I need to open which form now? I need I want to open the add student. 
So that student, I watch what I want to send, I will send this student to that one. So just I think I have many here. One, two, three. Uh, sorry, one, two, that's it. Yeah, that's, I don't like too many brackets. Should be careful about them. So let me save here. So what we did here now, when you click on one of this, it will take you to the student UI. That's what's happening really. So let's press again on one of this. So taking the, all the value from the postman as you see here, Better again one more time. I think that's a great thing now. Okay, what we're doing here. So uh, what we can do now? I think let's stop now here. In the next video, uh, what we'll do? Oh, let me just try it now. All of them they're showing mail. So let me change the value on one of them and postman. Let's say. Mm, to uh, send or a chain to know which one we are doing to oh, that's our last one nice now showing me female so as that's one what we have done in the pre uh, last video it was a bit complicated but it's very useful as I say to you depend on this value they will show you the text string here male or female depend on that one uh, I think that's enough for this video. Next video, we'll write the post. So I'll I will uh, write how to add the new student. So now what we are doing, we're adding through uh, postman. So next video, we'll add the float button. If you press it, we'll open the same uh, forum, but it will be empty. And you can press on save to save the values from here. Uh, or you can press on it and you go to the dead I think uh, I will show you what I will do small trick about this uh, about the updating but it will be in the next videos so next see you in the next video bye bye